What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome to Let's Play Catherine. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and so I'm very excited to share this experience with you guys. I do want to note that this is Catherine Classic, which is the remaster of the original that came out for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and is now available on Steam. I would also like to address that yes, there is a remake that came out later on called Catherine Fullbody, which, if you're only going to play one of these games, is indeed the de definitive way to play the game because of all the content it adds. However, if you do think you're going to like Catherine, or if you already know you like Catherine, I think the best way to experience everything Catherine can offer is to play the original and then full body afterwards, because the full body experience is absolutely enriched from having played the original, and I'll talk about a couple differences or motivations for playing the original first later on in the story to avoid, I guess, any sort of uh, spoilers. But yes, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm super excited about it. It is a romance, horror, puzzle, narrative-driven game. It has an incredibly enticing story with very compelling characters and thought-provoking explorations of very adult, both dark and uplifting themes in a very creative manner with incredible music and style. And I hope you guys are just as excited for this game as I am. The first thing you can see is there's the Golden Theater mode, then Babel, and we'll explore really all that this game has to offer. So without further ado, let's hop into Golden Theater. Start the story from the beginning. So we're gonna start a new story. I'll play on normal. This game actually was pretty infamous when it came out for its difficulty. I have played through the game in its entirety, uh, the original before, but I do think normal will be fine for now. I don't wanna get too bogged down by the really difficult gameplay, at least at least for now. Maybe, maybe after we get through this story, but um, yeah, now, let's hop on in. And enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. There's gonna be a lot of narration in this game, a lot of voice acting, during which I'll be quiet and, and hope you guys enjoy. This will very much be, well, we'll see. Yes, welcome to the Golden Playhouse. When the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say, if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm, what a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? Great pun. His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. Get excited, guys. I'm so excited for this game. I will say it's also very much a cinematic experience, so during a lot of the cutscenes and such, I'll generally stay quiet. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything alright? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. 
I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> Cancel the sheet. One, two, three, get sucked in my sheets. Kore wa genji, so like a dream. Mazaru mitsu to no kona cream. Tsunagaru shikumi wa hen to hen. Hito to no kanke wa hen to hen. Gain ten to go, musibu ten to ten. Ato wa sensu de kimaru ume no ume. Left ka right ka ten go sa you move the brick. Step up, step away, take a trick. Man, you gotta fight for your chick. Demo fk mo iru kara deki nai pick. Chigan ba nai ze kyo dai. Himi hase ba kyo dai. Showtime. What a lovely opening. Also, shout out to, I think it's Shoji Meguro, who does the music. Incredible music, much like that of Persona. This is actually a game developed by the, the Persona team. I think it was after Persona 4. So you'll notice a lot of stylistic similarities. What the hell is this place? <laughs> Not a very typical dream, is it? Welcome to the Underground Cemetery. Help me! Is anyone out there? Hurry up and climb. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> this is an M-rated game, so there may be swears every now and then. I will say the sexual content is not incredibly explicit and does not need to be a concern if that's something you're worried about. The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional pad to move and climb. I'm actually using a PS4 controller, but that's that's all right. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna get started with the gameplay. You can see we have these blocks that we're trying to climb, and this is gonna consist of. The blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? <laughs> yeah, can you see Vincent? He's a pretty scrawny guy. Press the A button to grab the block. While holding the block, use the directional pad to push or pull it. You can also undo your last move by pressing back. Use it to give yourself a second chance. Yeah, and so this is one aspect of the gameplay of this game. So this is what we're going to be spending a lot of time doing, but... If you see one, make an effort to get it. It'll be worth the effort. How about that music? So, with regards to the puzzles, um, well, these segments, that's not what I intended to do. Sometimes, I'm still getting used to the, the inputs and all that on the computer, but... Very true. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. First, try pulling a block to make some footing. That's all to say, there are definitely people that when they get into a really difficult puzzle, They'll just be like, oh, well, I'll just try a bunch of different things and see what sticks, right? Very important, so make sure you remember what I'm going to tell you. And that's the game's way of telling you, please don't do that. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. <laughs> even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. And the game definitely does not uh, hesitate to tell you whenever those edges connect either. The word you will hear the most throughout the entirety of this Let's Play is edge. Right, I got it. Edge. Edge. Right, I got it. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a, we're gonna be spending a lot of time uh, doing these types of puzzles. See how the edges connect? I keep getting interrupted by the tutorial, so my, my train of thought keeps disappearing. It doesn't make any sense! How is it not falling? I mean, what about gravity? Don't think about it. Just use it to your advantage. 
They won't fall, so make stairs with them. Just get used to it. Quickly making stairs is the core of successfully scaling the tower. Yes, Use the edges I agree. To create stairways. This is definitely one of the one of the most fundamental right, I techniques. I will say also for those of you that actually, no, I know I'm going to be interrupted in just a second. Yep. <laughs> As you near the top, you will hear a bell ringing. The exit is near. Hurry. Anyway, good luck. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec. Sounds good to me, so we'll do our best. So those of you who, well actually, so you'll see that we're getting pretty close to the end, we're collecting all these coins, and we've made it to what appears to be the end. I can get out through here? What's that? Doesn't look very friendly. Oh shit! <laughs> Vince is like, hey, I'm gonna head out. So you can see, obviously, we get a score at the end of every single stage. Climb of the underground cemetery. And we're given a prize accordingly. And these prizes are relevant more so for completionists and for personal reasons rather than anything in the game. Although it does unlock some extra content. Vincent, did you wet the bed? <laughs> that scary of a dream? Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Ugh. Poor Vincent. I love his rave shirt. I, that's actually one of the few things I, like, really, really want. So, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> <laughs> She's like low-key cross-examining him. <laughs> Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like... where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Uh, oh man, how long has it been? It's been so long I can't remember. Uh-oh, Vincent. Mm. Uh-oh. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. Catherine's putting on the pressure, isn't she? <laughs> and in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. 
cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled hey, out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Said that attempts are being oh, made to two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know? Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Dun dun dun. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing's set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides... You're single, too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow, too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, oh, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, oh, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. And so Vincent's all alone at the bar. So much like the Persona series, you'll see that the gameplay in this game is very much split up into two different modes, I guess. Me. phone, you can check your text messages and save. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. So we'll take a look at our phone. We've got a, we got a few sections here. The in and out section, awards, diary. We'll get a look at all of these eventually. But first, let's see. This is from Cryos Phone. About text messages. When you spend time in the stray sheep, you'll receive text messages on your phone. You can even reply to some of these messages. Depending on how you reply, Vincent's feelings and those of the person he's writing to may change. Basically, it's going to impact the story, so it's very important. When you press the confirm button, a new line will be added to your reply. Press the cancel button to erase the last line, and press the confirm button again to write a different phrase in its place. Choose the words you want to reply with. Be honest with your choices. And then here's Catherine. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising, most of them are already married, and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone, too. It seems like Johnny was pretty on the point, right? <laughs> with regards to reading Catherine's desire to probably get married. 
So you'll see, we can have a few different options, right? So does it bother you? Nah. You're overthinking it. No. Sorry, can't think right now. I will say that, generally speaking, I'm gonna try to reply and act in this game as honestly as I would in real life. That's the way that I've most enjoyed the game, and even though there are multiple endings based on a lot of decisions you make, I can't help but always act in, in I guess, in person uh, for myself. So, I'm generally a pretty nice person, uh, unsurprisingly. But, um, so what are we gonna say? We're not gonna say you're overthinking, that's too accusational. Sorry, can't think right now, that's dismissive. Does it bother you? Yeah, let's let's look into it a little bit. I worry about it too sometimes. We should work at our own pace. Is this some kind of test? I don't like that one. I think I worry about it too sometimes is good. Make it seem like, you know, we're into, in this together. Maybe we should talk about this. That's a pretty good reply. We don't need to be constantly comparing ourselves to others. Maybe true, but also somewhat a little bit dismissive. Maybe we should talk about this. I like that. Good night, or drive home safe, okay? Good night. I don't know. Does this sound maybe like you're trying to say good night to like end things? Or drive home safe, okay? I I think that's like not too overt, so let's let's go with that. Ooh, what was that bar on the right? Allow the game to tell us. When certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. A lot of change going on in Vincent's life. Spam? A lot of inertia, too. So we've got some spam, it seems. <laughs> this is from Midnight Venus. Fantastic news. Congratulations, you have successfully completed stage one, the underground cemetery. Go to awards from the cell phone menu to check your best score on stage one. And then, you've done it. In recognition for earning the gold prize above normal difficulty, your friends in the Golden Playhouse have a great gift for you. You can now take on the altar stage of Babel. I'll be waiting for you. We'll talk about Babel eventually. Looks like Vincent's gonna gonna take another sip. Bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. And we got ourselves another text message. I will say, generally speaking, this sort of gameplay segment, right now we're very much locked to this booth and our phone, but generally we'll be able to more freely walk around and interact with other goers to the bar. Wait a second, are you out drinking at the stray sheep again? You know you have work tomorrow. Jeez. Take it easy, okay? What do you want to say? Guilty as charged. No, I'm not there. I don't want to lie. You don't own me. Oof, that's aggressive. Alright, we're definitely going to say guilty as charged. I'll make sure I don't drink enough to get a hangover, or I'll be okay. I'm sticking to Cuba Libres. <laughs> Seems a little bit maybe too jestful. Um, I'll make sure I don't drink enough to get a hangover. I like it. Take care of yourself, or good night, Kathy. I, I like this. This is a little bit more endearing. So we'll go with that. Maybe if... Actually, this could be pretty interesting. If you guys have a particular way that maybe you would play the game, um, I could talk with you guys on Discord and see if that could maybe influence the decisions we make collectively for the playthrough. That would be pretty interesting. Which, by the way, Discord link is in the description. I don't know. I just don't feel like going home today. Oh, my phone. It's Catherine. All right, so now we're we're getting a call. We'll pick it up. See what Catherine has to say. Yeah, what's up? I wanted to apologize for cutting our meeting short this morning. I don't mind. I don't mind. You had to meet with a friend, right? Yeah. Oh, it was a woman, just so you know. I think you knew her in high school. <laughs> it's okay. Why it's the need wrong. to reassure in that way? Nothing. You have to go to work early tomorrow, right? Don't stay up too late. Good night. Thanks for the well wishes, Catherine. Ah, it's late. You're about to go to the next scene without saving. Are you sure you want to continue without saving? Uh, no. So we're gonna go to our diary and save. You can see there is my brief little test file. So we're gonna do that. And then we'll get to the next scene, which is very exciting. I love the aesthetic of this game so much. The art style, even the loading screens have a lot of style to them. Excuse me. 
Excuse me, mind if I sit here? So the night continues, but the music's a little bit unsettling, and rightfully so. And so now we've entered the next nightmare. Ah, it's you. <laughs> what are you waiting for? And so the puzzle sections continue. I will say the puzzles get quite difficult as things progress. You have plenty of opportunities to learn new techniques and test your skills, and the game does not make sure or makes <laughs> does a good job of making sure you have them down before you can really progress. So we were first in the underground cemetery. Now we are in the prison of despair. Where am I? Last night's dream again? What the hell! I was at the bar, and this girl came in, and then and then I can't remember. What is going on? Alright, and so we climb. So you'll notice there are a couple different things here. Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. This is what I was about to say, but you know it's fine. There are several types of blocks, such as cracked blocks and heavy blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. Great words of wisdom. So we're gonna keep on climbing up for the time being. Again, these puzzles get quite difficult, and right now we're not too pressed for time, but we will be. It's a really useful technique. If there's nothing to stand on when you pull a block out, you'll hang from the edge. If you try to move to a space without a block, you'll hang as well. Try it out. From there, you can move around. It's a useful way to maneuver. Interesting spelling of maneuver there. All right, I got it. I'm not too familiar with that one, so. But anyways, yeah, you can see how All right, I got we can it. use that hanging there to advance a bit further. You. Try looking around. You might find an easy path up. Use the right stick to look around. If you're stuck, take a look around before moving on. So in this case, we can move around and see a little bit more of a, an easy area to work with right here. So, we're going to start by making a little staircase. You can see what I mean by saying the word edge a lot, right? Push rows of blocks all at once, too. Rows of blocks can be pushed together. There's no limit to how many blocks you can move at one time. I will say that these sort of tutorial segments will eventually end, meaning we won't constantly be interrupted eventually. Start from there if you need to retry. If you come across one, be sure to tag it. So we're going to hang off over here so we can right, get this gold it. and then get our checkpoint. And then we'll push on over this way so right, we can I go on it. up here. You've come pretty far. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? <laughs> yeah, who are you referring to, man? Alright. So we've made it to the end. And you can see that in the top right corner it said perfect, right? Basically there's a meter. Every time you elevate to a new height, you have a timer before. Also, it also tends to just kind of freeze up a little bit when tallying the score. But um, there's a little bit of a timer before your combo essentially runs out. And if you're able to clear the entire wall before that combo runs out, you get a perfect, which is which is great. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be aiming for, although no guarantees. I don't think I'll actually reliably be doing that. Looks like you survived. Who, who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here is a sheep but me. I recognize that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. 
You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Da dun. Quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, 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 wait. You hurry too. Hey, hey. I can't be serious. So here we are on the landing. You can save your progress and talk with the other sheep. Go on, talk to them. <laughs> go on, talk to them. It's like your parent talking to a little kid. Like, go on, don't be shy. Say hi. Where am I? What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? <laughs> they told me to go up. Well, what's up there? <laughs> Give me a break. Sounds rather exasperated. Everyone dies eventually. Dying sooner, at least, saves you some pain, right? And there's the rationalizer. What? what is this place? Why was I taken here? Same here. Wish I knew. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it. Get me out of here. Something I should say is the voice acting in this game is actually really great. And those of you who have seen multiple of my Let's Plays know that I really enjoy Japanese voice acting and will almost always go with it. I've played through this game in English and in Japanese, and I think they're both great. So I'd like to actually stick with the English uh, voice acting for this playthrough. Damn it. I'm gonna survive, even if it means kicking off others. If you get in my way, I'll kick you off too. Yikes. So you're gonna want to steer clear of that sheep. If you don't run, you'll die. I've got to keep running. I can't die here. We'll team up to find a way out of here. I don't know you. I can't trust you. No, I'm not going with anyone. I've had it with people trying to trick me. We're just trying to survive, man. Uh, uh, I don't want to die. Just calm down. Are you saying that to try to bring my guard down? I'm not falling for that. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Some asshole pushed me too. Next time, I'm gonna start shoving or I'll die. A lot of distrustful sheep down here. We're discussing techniques. They're the key to survival. Sounds like a pretty good idea. Maybe this will be useful. Found the level-headed people. Teach you the technique I found? Yeah, by all means. Let's do it. All right. Remember, this is my time. So this is one of the ways the game will try to teach you. Pull out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. Remember this basic technique. What'd you think? Nice. Hmm, huh. I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one, too. Allow me to explain the sliding. Pull out two blocks vertically. Then slide the bottom one over. Remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. This Since is one that you guys have seen me use a lot. Make a stair, even in tight spots. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. Oh, please. I already knew. Yeah, I did. Anyway, what I want to say <laughs> is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. So we've got at least some semblance of collaboration on here, right? I love Vincent's derpy running animation. It's hilarious. So I won't save just yet. We'll instead go in here. And we can talk to the screen There's here. There's someone in there, right? Why don't you take a seat? Oh, okay. Uh, welcome to the confessional. It seems a new lamb has appeared. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. You are the lambs who have been chosen. You'll all be dead soon. What? Don't be ridiculous. I love but that jaw drop. Before I kill you, I want to determine your life's worth. So, 
I'll have you answer my question. Damn it, what is this? Question one. Is marriage the point where life begins or ends? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. So for me, I would say it definitely begins. I actually don't think of it as too definitive a beginning or an ending, but definitely a transition to a different stage of life. But I would say if chose, if I had to choose between these two, I would say it definitely begins. Oh, so that's your choice. That's surprising. Is it? <laughs> Who are you? Are you doing all this? No, I merely watch over the sheep. Someone else dropped you here. Someone in the real world wanted you to be dropped here and wanted you to die. Yikes. Someone you know. Hmm. If you want the truth, you'll have to survive. But since you seek survival, I will take you to the next trial. Bring it on. So yeah, this is also another really interesting... What is going on? <laughs> Ooh, what's up with that painting behind Vincent? But yeah, this is another interesting aspect of the game. You're forced to make these answers to different questions. And what's also really cool is they give you data on what other first-time players say. And so most people say it begins, though not everybody does. A good third or so, it looks like, um, say life ends when, when marriage happens. It's very interesting. I know that in the original for the PS3 as well, you could even um, sort by men versus women's answers. But... I don't think they allow that here. And I think it was originally from like an internet survey or something, but... Alright, so we've got our next stage. So we'll climb on up. Yes, we are. <laughs> Vincent's so sick of this. Already. Sorry, man, but I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb too. Oh yeah. As you climb, you'll run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember it later. <laughs> that music in the back is pretty loud, isn't it? Remember, it's great, though. Only hold one at a time. Press X to use it. You probably can't hold many, but you should hang on to one, just in case. I also love how this guy is like, I'm not going to help you anymore, I'm going to keep on moving on. And then it's like, oh, by the way, here's this piece of information you can find helpful. But, yeah, anyways, we'll, we'll keep on climbing up and see what we can do. Hey, about those coins. Yeah, what are these? I don't really know, but the amount you get depends on how fast you climb. If you're looking to collect a lot of them, keep that in mind. Your score is measured in Enigma coins. Enigma coins. Whenever I think of Enigma, I can't help but think of Batman. More coins will be added to your score. Like, you know, Edward Enigma. Use these coins to purchase items on the landings between stages. AKA the Riddler. Your score is also used as a condition for unlocking additional game features. The faster you climb, the more bonus coins you will earn. If you want more coins, climb faster and aim for a high score. Well, then that's exactly yeah, what we'll do. So, we're gonna have to deal with one of these guys. Basically, we can fight various sheep we run into as we're trying to climb the same wall. For better or worse. Oh, almost that thing I forgot to mention? If you're crushed by a falling block, you're dead. Are you serious? <laughs> Give me a break! If you are crushed by a block, the game will end. Wow. Watch out for wobbling blocks. So we're gonna push that so these guys fall. And now we've gotta wait for this guy to move. You gonna move? Come on. All right, Sorry. get out of here. Edge. I've seen others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. You mean the other guys climbing with me? They're in my way. They're all trying to climb, like you. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep climbing. Two creatures cannot stand on a block at the same time. Sometimes, sheep will get in your way as they try and climb to the top. To move a sheep out of your way, Move up against him and shove him. Right, I got that's it. exactly what we'll do. And that's actually the basis it. for the multiplayer in this game, because there is multiplayer. And it's actually got a very interesting competitive scene, too. So what we are going to do is push one of these blocks. Yes, we are. 
is this place? How high does this damn thing go? I don't know. I wish I did. <laughs> the map on the left side of the screen shows you how far you are from the goal. I think one of the one of the greatest things about this game too is this like the little art depictions. Like look at the sheep in the goal line or in the gold image versus the start image. Stages vary in length, so be mindful of your progress. All right. All right I got it. Edge. We don't really need that pillow on the other side. I made it. Go. Got another perfect. Awesome. So we've completed this stage. Some nights are definitely longer than others and have multiple stages. This one is actually relatively short. Most of them don't have more than a few stages, but towards the end of the game, they definitely get longer. So far, I'd say we're doing pretty well in terms of score. You survived. Impressive. And so in between each stage, we're going to end up back at the landing, and we're treated to another little cutscene. It's you. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep? They're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But... I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> nice you should bait think of switch. what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. Be careful now. Something big? How Still, ominous. You're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Uh, hey, wait! All right, so the tutorial aspect is over, right? <laughs> you can learn techniques to help you climb higher. Crawling around blindly won't help you escape. There is valuable information to be found, and you can only find it here. Not on the internet, not from friends, only in the landings, guys. <laughs> oh, you're new here, am I right? Let me ask, do you have any coins? You may have seen them lying around while you were climbing. I'll trade you useful items for them. Would you rather have coins than an item. I'm a numismatist. I love money. There's nothing in life money can't buy. <laughs> I've got a bike with that on it in my office. No matter what world you're in, as long as you've got money, you can do anything. These gold coins are symbols, symbolizing money. And if that's the case, then I can save myself if I have enough of it. That's my theory. Right? Oh, so you don't know... <laughs> if you are still having Such a funny philosophy. Stage, you can buy items with coins. If you are already carrying an item, it will be replaced if you buy a new one. Be careful. However, buying items makes it more difficult to earn the gold prize. Yeah, you essentially, item, well, some coins. Tonight's product is the white cube creates a block in front of you. No, I don't need that. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something, fro man? Yikes. Uh, Rather aggressive just because we're not giving you coins. Please come again. Yeah, an in interesting philosophy, but we're gonna try not to use items if we can, and especially not buy them. Wow, this person is yelling. Ah, ah, monster! Fuzzy and fluffy at the same time, and it's coming right at me! Yeah! Snap out of it. <laughs> There's nothing like that anywhere near here. It's like a teddy bear of some sort. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Huh? <laughs> this poor guy. Hey, didn't you shove me just a few minutes ago? How dare you! You're just some sheep! I'll shove you next time! Hey, I heard that all the sheep here are actually people. Newsflash! Fuck you! You <laughs> need to make sure I survive! Uh, I understand, but... No, we're, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna draw the line. No. It's not a matter of right or wrong. It's about life and death. Yeah? What good is having pity going to do you in here? What good is living going to be if you can't live with yourself? No matter what happens to anyone else, I'm going to live. Well, well, we'll help you. We'll do our best not to kill you, I guess. Are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? Why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on. How can I survive? I can't keep climbing. I don't know anything either. 
this. If you want to live, then climb. That's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gotta stay calm. <sighs> Very reasonable outlook. Identify the things you do have control over and can do, and do what you can. I do feel better now. Thanks. Aw, happy to hear that. All right. Let's go check out what's going on on the other side. We'll talk to you guys in a moment. It's that sheep again. They gotta play dead. I'm not a sheep. All the sheep here are really human. Really? What? Really? I just pushed two sheep a little while ago. Yikes. Wouldn't want to live with that guilt. What's with all the cubes? I don't understand any of this. What should I do? Please help me. Just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me. A anything. Maybe this will help. Here we go, another technique. Allow me to explain the tornado. So, the tornado is basically the slide, just in different directions. And pull them out one by one. Move them aside and bring them down like a tornado. Then, make a staircase and climb. Oh, is that how you climb? Oh, yeah. You're amazing. Oh, I think I can go on a little longer. Awesome. And I'm thinking about that technique you showed me, so I won't forget. Uh, we'll review another time. <laughs> Good luck. But happy to share that technique with you. I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I, I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you'll hear is your own death scream. You can stay here, but even this place will fall eventually. Yeah, that would be pretty traumatizing. But again, just gotta do what you can. I found this. Yo, have we met before? You survived because of the techniques I found, huh? <laughs> yeah, exclusively because of your techniques. Tell me so. Let me show you another great technique. Let's hear it. Allow me to explain suspending. This technique gives you more room to maneuver. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below it. As long as the edges connect, the block will remain in place. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist. <laughs> <laughs> blockologist. That's a good start. Try to remember this one too. Allow me to explain pullback. This one's pretty straightforward. If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block and backing down. By creating a stairway as you go down, you will be able to go higher than you could before. You've, are, you've probably seen me do a lot of these already, actually. You knew that? Yeah, I knew. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, this kind of stuff has to become second nature to you. I know. I can't just rely on my natural reporter's instinct. I wonder if this person's a reporter. Just techniques, huh? I guess the trick is to learn as many of them as possible. Okay, you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. Huh, good to know. And we also just heard one of my favorite lines in this game for the first time. I'll highlight it again another time. We found a landing of sorts here, so we should expect there to be other sets of stairs. Don't tell me we've got to go through this tomorrow, and the day after, and... Third time's the charm, right? Little healthy dose of cautious optimism. Uh, hey. I told you, sit down first. <laughs> what a great conversation starter. Uh, hey. Oh, man. You're here, Lost Lamb. He'll be answering another of my questions. Right, I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. This is the second question. Is it okay to live with your partner without ever intending to marry her? <laughs> Cohabitation without marriage. Yeah, or yay or nay. Well, Interesting. Without any chance of, or in any intention of marriage. This one? I think it's actually okay, personally. I don't think cohabitation necessitates marriage in any sense, oh, no. or cohabitation isn't even exclusive to people that would intend to get married. So I do think, I do think it's okay. Which one? And I do think people could not be married and still be successful partners in some sort of relationship if they live together, so. You'll see, obviously, that was a little bit different from our other answer choices. I knew it! I'll answer your question this time, little lost lamb. This entire place is an immense sanctuary. There are eight floors. This is the second night. 
and only the second floor. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? If I can get to the end, I don't have to die? Don't get your hopes up. You'll never be able to reach the pinnacle. Anyway, listen. I hear the sounds of your night terrors approaching. Ooh. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? If you guys have time, right now in the comment section, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on these questions as well. I know that I'm sharing a little bit of my thought process and my own answers, but for a lot of these, there isn't really a right and wrong answer, right? There's just a lot of different perspective that individuals have, and so I'd be really curious to hear what you guys think about these things. Interesting. Not as definitive as the last question, right? And here we go. You'll see that this one has a door, and it's the final floor. We have our night terrors approaching. How exciting. You won't escape. Huh? What? Voice. Where have I... I won't escape. Yikes. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's, it's like, really now? The Fist the of Grudge. I love the instruction. Do not die. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll, uh, I'll definitely consider that one going forward. So we're climbing. Pretty, pretty solid start so far. We don't really need that pillow right now. Ooh. And so, you'll notice that these blocks here take a lot longer to actually use. So, they're, well, that's the downside of them, right? And that's part of why this boss can be dangerous in that regard. And we're gonna have to do a lot of the slide. You'll see that the game is, again, reinforcing the techniques it's been teaching. A little more. So, you do not want to get caught by that fort. It's uh, not the best experience. Ooh, that was not what I wanted to happen, so we're gonna do this. A lot of this game is also figuring out, oh, I didn't actually intend for that to happen, so let's improvise. Did a little bit of a mix between the pyramid and the slide there. Ooh, so that makes things a little bit more difficult. But we should be fine. Looks like we're pretty much in the clear now. We're on the home stretch. Awesome. And so another perfect. That should get us a gold award for the night. I love these dramatic sort of like boss battles. Is it gone? I'm saved, right? Yeah! Aw, yeah, Vincent. Great escape. So we made it through the night. We defeated this boss. I love the, the horror imagery. I love that every night, every location is going to have its own um, environment, its own scenery that's going to be that's very interesting. Scenery. Your escape from the prison of despair was perfection indeed. Awesome. And so now we cut back to story. a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's supposed to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? 
But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh! tomorrow so I need to get home oh, oh. I had fun tonight oh, oh. you must like what you see <laughs> I'm not staring you're a bad liar uh-oh Vincent uh-oh uh-oh you taste like smoke <laughs> but I don't mind <laughs> you don't say Yikes. Holy shit. Oh man, this is not good. Hmm? <gasps> what is it good? Well, uh, you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Hmm. Huh? Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Oh, fuck, man. I drank way too much. <laughs> uh, would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> awkwardly I looks don't away. want to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Huh? Oh. Oh. So, how do you feel about me? Huh? Oh. Wow. Um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel odd. Hmm? Huh? You see, this is my first time. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? Ah! What? I'm sorry. I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, I guess... Sorry. I, uh, I gotta go now. I have a, um, a dentist appointment now. Dentist? Yeah. Dentists get angry if you're late, too. <laughs> hmm. I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Hey, wait. I'm actually dating someone already. A little late on that delivery, Vincent. <sighs> this is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Yeah, Vincent's in quite the pinch. Ah, oh, you know what? It just hit me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? It's well, like I've never been that popular. Most popular with the girls. I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. Oh, crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have? 
I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Uh, if you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pick. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. I am so fucked. Hey, have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. <laughs> anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. Some solid advice from our friend Orlando. <laughs> saw the girl oh really i figured one of you guys told her to sit with me uh, if this girl was cute you'd definitely remember you know i gotta say because of you jerks i never get a chance to date anyone if i was a ladies man i wouldn't be here every night with you guys anyway you dig the older chicks don't you yeah i want a woman who's you know mature stern has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. <laughs> Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them, or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. <laughs> Orlando. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. Who are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. My eye. Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Let's just leave me alone. Well, well, come on. Tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in trouble, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha, shut up. I'm done fooling around. All the guilt, all the shade getting thrown at Vincent now by his friends. Rightfully so. <laughs> Probably gotta hit that fine balance between pushing in the right direction as well as supporting. To get up from your seat and walk around the bar. If you press start to open the menu, you can see hints on how to spend your time at the bar. You can change the difficulty of the nightmare stages from the config screen. 
All right, so now we actually have the chance to explore the stray sheep, the bar, and talk to many of its patrons. However, I believe I'm gonna leave it at this for now, and we'll continue the story in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a long episode because I really wanted you guys to get a good taste of what Catherine is about. And hopefully the story has been incredibly compelling, the characters interesting, and the gameplay uh, thought-provoking as well. And I hope you guys are looking forward to more of it. Again, this game is absolutely incredible and there's still so much more to see. And if you enjoyed this, this little taste, you're gonna love what's coming up. So I really hope you guys join me and are looking forward to the next episode. But until that next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero and this mission is complete.